Okay guys, thanks for waiting. Uh, this is a press conference for Troy Parrott. He is the live player, so this uh, press conference is live. Um, so please raise your hand if you want to ask a question and we'll try and get it through as many as possible. And then we'll have Jason Knight coming up as the embargoed player. So, Gavin Cooney, if you want to get us underway, please. Hey Troy, congratulations on your goals. Just tell us how that feels. Uh, thank you, first of all. Um, it feels amazing, to be fair. Um, stuff you dream of when you're growing up. Uh, the most important thing is the window and it's good to it's good to get that. Yeah, just watching it, it felt we went one and then it really felt that you showed leadership and almost you said like F this, I'll turn this around. Was that almost kind of what was going through your head? Uh, to be fair, I think the lads felt like it needed something. It needed um, a spark from somewhere and I seen the ball drop from a space of one you saw I thought I'd just i just go for it. The ball ended up in the, in the back of the net. Yeah, and just lastly for me, can you and the rest of the players take confidence from the results? I know it was a pretty, uh, or either more negative to focus on from the performance overall. Uh, I think we can take confidence out of it. It's a win, I think you should always take confidence out of, it, out of a win, and scoring four goals is, is also big for us. So I think we can take confidence, uh, confidence out of the game and bring it into the next game. Thanks, Ray. Damien Spellman, please. And um, Troy, there's a, there's a pool of young strikers now uh, within the Ireland camp. How much optimism, optimism does that give the country going forward? Uh, in my opinion, I think people should be excited. Um, everyone's everyone's pushing each other and training. The older lads are helping helping the younger lads um, and trying to almost give them experience through through awards. Um, I think people should be excited. And one of the lads has pointed out, it's not my statistic, I've, I've stolen it, that Robbie Keane scored his first goal for Ireland in his fifth appearance. Uh, is that interesting for you? Um, not really, to be fair. Uh, obviously, he's, he's no. unbelievable striker. Um, and to, to reach the level of goals he had would be dream come true. Um, it's good to get off the mark though. Thank you. Guy Havard, Sky Sports. Hi Troy, many congratulations. Um, has it been a frustrating season sort of up until this point? Has that sort of given it almost a, a good ending, a nice ending? Yeah, you, you said it. Um, it's been a tough season, to be fair. I've got a lot of criticism. Um, it's finished the way I wanted it to go the whole, the whole time. Um, but teams don't really always go to plan. And, I'm really, really happy to, to finish the season strong. Has it been tough then to take on board that criticism and, and what are your plans for next season? Do you know where you'll be? Uh, I wouldn't say it's tough to take it on. Um, obviously no one wants to be, to be criticised. Um, but it pushes me and makes me want to do, do even better. Um, on next season I'm not too sure what's going to happen, um, so I can't really say much on that. Sorry, not to harp on the criticism, but is it because you were such a big name as a teenager, you're still a teenager, aren't you, but because there was a lot of expectation on your shoulders that you were sort of maybe judged differently and hadn't been able to develop? Uh, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, I'm not too sure. I try not to pay attention to that too much. Um, I want to concentrate on my football and ultimately scoring goals. Well done today, thanks for your time. Thank you. Any further questions for Troy, guys? Can I get in there, please, Kurt? Yep, yeah, no problem, Paul. Thanks, Troy. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. You must feel like you're the man who has beat this Irish attack. Um, when you say it like that, it's because I'm, I'm 19, it, it might surprise a few people. Um, I wouldn't say lead the attack. Uh, I'm, just happy to be in the team. To be fair, being this in being in the squad, even um, to contribute with two goals is yeah. gives me massive confidence, um, um, and to win gives the whole team confidence. So I'm really happy. I feel like you could lead it, but it was me. Yeah, quite a strong dream to start the next day, for example. Well, that's a, that's been a dream always growing up. Um, 
watching watching all the teams, it's always been I wanna I wanna be there, I wanna be at that. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, I think yeah, today yeah. has helped oh. me, uh, and I just wanna keep pushing on. Congratulations, Thank you. That's the final two questions from Aidan. Uh, then Owen. Obviously, when, when the three of us were coming through the 21s and we were scoring goals and stuff, there was going to be people asking questions. Um, I wouldn't say there's been a heap lot of pressure. Um, maybe there has, maybe there hasn't. I just haven't paid attention to it really. I'm not sure about the other lads. I can't really speak on them too. Um, today, scoring the two goals is, is massive for me. It's, it's going to give me a massive confidence boost. Um, right now, I feel on, on top of the world. So it's helped me out a lot. Um, I think the three of us have been have been thrown into it, um, and kind of learning on the on the job experience. But I think if you asked any three of us, we wouldn't we wouldn't want it any other way. Um, yeah, so so that's the way it's gone. And the final one from Owen. Uh, uh, congratulations. Uh, just with the way you mentioned it's been a tricky season for you, what was it like that pretty much when fit to see them Kenny get caught in the senior squad and you brought you on in a couple of games as well before it tonight? Um, it's every time you put that short on it's it's a feeling that can't be described. Um, it's it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's been a tricky season, um, but overall I've got a lot of um, a lot of game time. And, and there's been a couple of goals in there as well. Thanks, Ryan. Okay, guys, uh, we'll bring Jason Knight into it now. Just give us two seconds.